Today's topic is about multiplication. So multiplication is one of the four elementary mathematical operations of arithmetic. So we have addition, we have subtraction, um, we have multiplication and division. So multiplication is one of these basic mathematical operations. So um, we have here two pictures. So let's look at the picture on the left. So the picture on the left is all about cherries. So if we want to count the number of cherries, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So in total, I have ten cherries. And I want to know which mathematical operation um, is equivalent to ten cherries. So um, the first one is five times four. So five times four is equivalent to adding five four times. So um, if I add five plus five plus five plus five, the answer is 20. So five times four is equal to 20. Now, the second one is three times two. So again, it's equivalent to, um, to like adding three two times. So three plus three is six. Um, the third one is five times two, and it, it's equivalent to adding five two times. So I have five times two, so five plus five, which is 10. And finally, four times two is like four plus four, which is eight. So the third mathematical operation, which is five times two, and that is equal to 10, represents the number of cherries in the picture. Now let's take a look at the picture on the right. So I have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven roses. And for the second flower, I have again seven roses. So in total, I have 14 roses. Now let's look which mathematical operation represents the total number of roses. So the first one is five times seven. So again, five times seven, um, it's like adding five seven times. So five plus five plus five plus five plus five plus five plus five is equal to 35. Now, the second one is two times seven, which is equivalent to adding two seven times. So two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus two, plus two is equal to 14. The third one is four times two, which is equivalent to adding four two times. So it's eight, four plus four. And finally, two times five is equivalent to adding two five times. So I have two plus two plus two plus two plus two, which is 10. So the third mathematical operation, or sorry, the second mathematical operation, which is two times seven equals 14, represents the total number of roses. Now, um, as a note, I want you to know that when, when, when multiplying two numbers, it does not matter which is the first or the second. So the answer is always the same. So if I multiply three times five, this is equal to 15. And if I multiply five times three, this is equal to 13. So the order of the numbers does not matter at all. Now, let's um, spend some time on the 12 times table. So this table, you need to memorize this table. So um, let's take um, one times one as an example. So how do you memorize this table? So when you say one times one, the answer is one. When you say two times one, the answer is two. When you say two times seven, the answer is 14. Um, let's take six. 
If I have six times three, the answer is 18. If I have six times 12, the answer is 72. Um, um, let's take nine. If I have nine times, so nine times six, the answer is 54. If I have 11 times four, the answer is 44. So that's how you read the um, 12 times table. So my advice to you is to memorize um, all the 12 numbers. So I, um, um, my advice for you is to start with one, then keep moving forward until you reach 12. So let's do an example about multiplication in column. So the first one is 12 times 4. So how do we multiply 12 times 4? So first, I need to multiply 4 times. So 4 times 2, which is equal to 8. And... I have to multiply 4 times 1, which is equal to 4. So 4 should be multiplied by 2 and by 1. So the answer is 48. Now for the second one, I have 54 times 12. So 54 times 12. So first, I need to multiply 2 times 4 and then 2 times 5. So 2 times 4 is equal to 8, and 2 times 5 is equal to 10. Then I need to go to the second number, which is 1, and I need to multiply 1 times 4 and 1 times 5. So I will skip one position, so I'm going to write 1 times 4, which is 4, under the 0, and 1 times 5, under the 1. So I skipped um, the first position, position, which is the 1 under the 8. Now I need to add. So I have 8 plus nothing is 8. Then I have... Um, 0 plus 4 is 4, and 1 plus 5 is 6. So I have 0 plus 4 is 4, and 1 plus 5 is 6. So 54 times 12 is equal to 648. Now let's do the third one. So I have 11 times 10. So again, the first step is to multiply 0 times 1, and again 0 times this one, the second one. So 0 times 1 is 0, and again 0 times 1 is 0. Then I need to pick this one, the second one. So I have 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 times 1 is 1 as well. So again, I'm going to skip the first position under the first 0. So I have 1 times 1, which is 1, and 1 times 1 again, which is 1. Now I have to add. So 0 plus nothing is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. And nothing plus 1 is 1. So 0 plus nothing is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. And nothing plus 1 is 1. So the answer is 110. Now the last example is 514 times 23. So again... I have to multiply 3 times 4 first. So 3 times 4 is equal to um, 12. So I have 2 and 1 over here. Now, the second step is to multiply 3 times 1, which is 3, and I have to add this one. So 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. So I have to write 4. And the third step is to multiply 3 times 5, which is equal to 15. So 1, 5. Then I will pick 
2 and I will multiply 2 times 4 which is 8 but again I need to skip the first position which is um, under the 2 so here I have 8 then I need to multiply 2 times 1 which is 2 and 2 times 5 which is 10 so 2 times 1 is 2 and 2 times 5 is 10 and now I have to add so um, 2 plus nothing is 2 then I have 4 plus 8 is 12 so this is so here I have 2 and the 1 goes up now I have um, 5 plus 2 is 7 plus 1 is 8 then I have um, 1 plus 0 is 1 and nothing plus 1 is 1 so 1 plus 0 is 1 and nothing plus 1 is 1 so the answer is 11,822